Hello people, I'm Kirsten. I want to chat today because blind people, like me, are having a particularly weird time during Corona and a lot of people don't know about it and there is generally a lot of open-mindedness about other people's circumstances and I thought, okay, this is a great time to record this video while everyone is willing to listen. What if I asked you to go outside, keep your hands clean and social distance with your eyes closed? Weird, right? Well, I'm not actually going to tell you to do that and I advise against it, but that's what we have to do. And there are three sort of areas which I feel are really impacted. The first one is grocery shopping. A blind person can go to the grocery store in a few different ways. If you have a friend or family member to go with, that makes it easier because you go in with that person, they help you find your stuff, but you know them so you feel comfortable and it's not a big deal. But if you live alone or you don't have someone available at the time that you need apples, then you go to the store by yourself or you order online. When you go by yourself, you go inside, you go to customer service, and you either hold on to a store clerk, like hold their arm, or you ask your dog to follow them if your dog knows the follow command, which mine does. And then you, you're still pretty close to them because you're following right behind. Then they walk around the store and help you find your stuff. Well, right now, that's just not a thing. First of all, that clerk certainly does not want me touching them, and I absolutely do not want them touching me. And there's no way to hold onto someone's arm and maintain six feet of distance. So we turn to online delivery. Anyone with access to online delivery right now can tell you that, first of all, it's really hard to find available delivery windows at all, and even if you do have delivery windows available, a lot of products are out of stock and that just makes everything more difficult. And I have heard that some websites are going to give priority access to people with disabilities, but I have not yet found that option. So comment down below if you know anything about this particular access because that would really help me out. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I can't make the choice that you make and say, well, they don't have apples online for delivery, so I'm going to put on a mask and go to the store and be careful. Just if there are people in an aisle, I'll take the parallel one and go around from the back. No, that's not a thing for us. If I walk down an aisle, I don't know there's someone in that aisle until I run into them or they say something. In both circumstances, I guarantee there is not a six foot radius around us. And that does not help with COVID right now. The second area is going outside. It is a lifeline for so many people right now to be able to go for their walks outside because most stay at home orders say that you can go out for essential services or for exercise. For me though, going outside is terrifying. If I'm walking down the street with my dog, there is no way for me to know if someone else is on the sidewalk. And in fact, my boyfriend has told me that when we walk, people don't social distance. They'll just pass on the sidewalk. And so I have no ability to know that they're near me. Just like in the grocery store, I won't know they're there till I'm on top of them or I run into them. Same thing with public transit. If I wanna take the train anywhere or a bus, there's no way I can avoid people. I don't know where they are. That makes it all just really complicated. If I wanna go outside with my laptop and change up the setting, maybe sit at a table or hang out on a chair with my dog, I don't know if someone else is at that table or in the chairs next to me. It's just, there's no freedom and I cannot avoid people even if I wanted to. The final concern is getting back to work. Everyone wants to go back to work. We have to open the country again. But the things I just talked about will be exacerbated and it's just going to make it worse for us. The CDC issued guidance about who a vulnerable population applies to and that talks about 
elderly people or people with underlying immune problems, even though I don't have an immune issue and I am not over a certain age, I'm vulnerable to COVID, but just in a way that people don't think about. So for example, I get to work by taking the train or bus or walking. All of those options require you to be next to people. Until smart cars get it together, I can't drive to work on my own. So that means that if I take the train and I sit down next to someone who isn't wearing a mask, I don't know that. If I go to grab a metro bar and someone's hand is already there, I don't know that. If I trip on someone's bag and hit my face on a metro pole, well, after I'm done throwing up, <laughs> I still might have COVID on my face. You just don't know who you're around, who you might touch, who you might come in contact with. And honestly, this pandemic is about taking care of each other and keeping each other safe. I cannot go into my office and assure my clients and coworkers that I have done my best to stay away from people, keep my hands clean, all of the different things that are recommended as part of a safe reopening. I can try, absolutely, and I do care about doing it the right way. But as I've already said, I cannot maintain six feet. The choice to social distance in a public area is taken from me. And that is terrifying because I have to depend on other people's willingness and desire to follow the protocols. And as we all know, because I know everyone in the world has a friend who doesn't care about COVID, you can't depend on other people to do that. There is one positive thing that comes out of this though. <laughs> I no longer have to shake hands ever again. That's really awesome because usually how it happens is I meet someone and I don't know if they've already had their hand out first or what, and then we're just waving our hands around in front of each other, and I'm like, hi, I'm Kirsten, nice to meet you. Hello? Hello? I don't know where you are. Okay, well, this is off to a great start. Please listen to my legal advice now. So yeah, that particular aspect, gone. I don't have to care anymore, and I don't ever have to touch someone's hand, which is, I do have to say, excellent, because I hate the fish grip also. Makes you wanna take a shower. So my whole point is there's a group of people that are having a particularly hard time along with everybody else, but just in a different way. And I wanted to put this out here so that you think about it because as I said, this pandemic is about being conscious of the situation and trying to take care of others. So if you see a blind person in the street, please social distance from them because they can't see you and they can't do it back. And for God's sake, do not pet the dog. Please do not pet the guide dog, just ever, but particularly during Corona. So think about this, comment down below if you found this helpful or if you also know of a group of people that are vulnerable in a unique way that maybe no one has focused on yet. I think everyone can agree that the way to affect change starts with a conversation. But seriously, if you can get outside, I really hope you do. Take care of yourself, exercise, get some plants, do things that make you happy because we will get through this. And especially if we do it as a community and do it together. And while we do it, I hope you take some time, clear your head and smile for a second.